Under this box is a new addition to the garage. It's electric. It's noisy. It's an Ozito belt sander. Oh. But it was free. Yay! But it's broken. Oh. But we're gonna fix it. Yay! If we can. Oh. You're messing with my heart. All right, plan for this video is to fix this belt sander. Hopefully you'll pick up a few troubleshooting tips along the way. You ever wish your screwdriver was just, just a little bit longer than it is? My wife. All right, I went and got the electric version. Should make things a bit faster and easier than it would otherwise be. Kind of like my wife's. So, anytime I try to fix something, I've got a graph similar to this in my head. Starting from the bottom left, we want the easy and likely stuff first. How many times have you been like, this thing's broken? Or then, uh, then the power's just not on. For our specific situation, from power on, we go up to circuit board. That's a visual inspection, switch, loose connections, and we'll bounce our way out from there, all the way up to the more complicated stuff at the end. If you're troubleshooting something that somebody's already tried to fix before you, and they're like, yeah, check this, check this, ignore anything they say and start again from the bottom. They weren't able to fix it for a reason, so you can't really trust any work they've done previously. All right, let's get back to fixing this. So Zito's a bargain basement brand. This sander retails for about 80 bucks Australian. That's like 55 US. It's got an 850 watt motor and a three year warranty. The warranty is actually how we ended up with this unit. Some friends of mine bought it. They put about 15 hours on it and then it died. They couldn't find their receipt, so they passed it my way. That'll actually be the real test at the end of this video. Do we tell them we fixed it and give it back to them? Or do we lie, say we couldn't fix it, and then, uh, then we get to keep it? <sighs> Decisions. We should be good to take it apart now. That was... That was easy. Belt sander. I do have this unplugged before, <laughs> before I took anything off. So if you're not familiar with these, power in through a switch, little circuit board, motor. On the other side, I've disassembled that so you can see it. We come out of the motor, through a belt, down to the actual sanding strip. When they said this died, they said it went just from working to not working, no sort of sputtering, anything. To me, that means we've got an electrical issue of some sort going on in here. I wouldn't suspect the brushes yet. More likely, we're up in this circuit board somewhere. Because we're already up here, might as well pull it out and have a look. There we go. So, no components are black or brown. Nothing funny looking on this side. So, no obvious signs on the circuit board that we've got a fault. Oh, no. Oh, we've done it now. Is this the way it went in? I think this was the way it went in. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. All right. Next thing. Probably the switch. You will need a multimeter to test this. We're gonna do a continuity test across the wires. Continuity test, if you're not familiar, if both probes are electrically connected, we should get a beeping sound. I'm gonna lock this switch down so that way, hopefully this plunger, which connects each set of wires, should be connecting the circuit on each side. So we'll go top wires first. Oh, oh, I don't hear anything. Try the bottom. Don't hear anything on the bottom either. And now this could be a failure of the locking mechanism. So I'm gonna, yep. Okay, so good continuity on the bottom if we don't lock it. How about the top? Nothing on the top. Okay, so switch is the problem. 
That switches out. Thankfully, this is a real easy one to check. We just gotta open up these tabs, and then we can get to the inside. An important thing when opening switches like this, or any mechanical component, is that you probably got some very small springs inside. And the last thing you wanna do is have to crawl on your garage floor for the next 40 minutes looking for that tiny spring. So we're gonna open real carefully, really carefully. Oh, oh, I already see a bearing of some sort. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, oh, all right, there's one. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. I, I, feel, I feel better about this. So same exact switch as it is in the diagram. If I can focus that, there we go. So connectors come down, make contact. Take that out. Great, so what we could be looking at is too much carbon buildup on the contacts or a component just got knocked out of place in the switch. Let me clean these up to start. Then we'll reinstall the bearing and the springs and we'll test it from there. This is just some 120 grit sandpaper. We're gonna try it like that. So, reassembly. Oh no. <laughs> Did you see where that went? I got it, I got it. Oh, oh that, had a, that had a spring in it. Stand by. All right, I found it. It was not too bad. There we go. One and just squishy. Yeah, two. All right, so we're looking good on our reassembly so far. Both cross braces are in place. We got a spring in the bottom, and then we've got this spring. Ball bearing should rest right in there. And that's what limits the travel forwards and back. So we gotta put this back in here. Slowly, carefully. Oh, scary. Great, except we dropped that bearing. Nope. 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 This is that point in the video where my audience retention just drops by 60%. Found it. Jesus. Woohoo! All right, now we need it to all stay there. All right. Now the real question, does it work? Let's get the meter on. Lock it in place. Ooh. One. Ooh, two. Yeah, so the paint does cost us, cost us some issues if we try to go from there. Perfect. All right, let's get it back in. We'll see if she runs. So I've sped up the reassembly process. Just make sure you put all the wires back in the correct orientation and then give them a little bit of a tug after you've tightened down the screws to make sure they fit. Also turn down the torque on your drill just so you don't strip any of the plastic holes that the metal screws go into. 
We're all reassembled. Now it is time for the test. I have not uh, I plugged it in. I have not tried it yet. First try since reassembly. Let's see how we go. Perfect. Works. It is it is a bit dusty in here now. Questions, comments, feedback, stick it down below. I'd like to hear from you. If you made it this far, I'm proud of you. If you want to see me build a go-kart, check out the links. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time.